How's it going guys? Today I'm converting my single stage Harbor Freight dust collector into a two stage dust collection system. If you're interested in doing this, stay tuned and I'll be glad to show you. If you're going to be converting your dust collector, here's a general list of materials that you'll need in order to do so. So here's my dust collector that I'm going to be converting. This is a two horsepower dust collector from Harbor Freight. You can pick it up for usually around $200 or less. And what I'm going to be doing today is converting it from a single stage dust collector into a two stage dust collector. And what that means is basically before I collect all the stuff directly through the impeller and into the bag, it's going to be filtered out through this trash can first, which is going to allow all the big stuff like uh, planer chips or stuff like that, or even loose nails to be able to drop into here. So that means that only the finer sawdust will actually go through the impeller and that's going to reduce the risk of damage onto my actual impeller. So I don't really have to worry about my uh, actual dust collector being damaged. Instead, it's going to drop all into the trash can. Now one thing I'm going to do different from a lot of other people is instead of leaving this bag on here and possibly getting a really expensive filter for the top, I'm just going to be getting rid of this entire section and taking all that small fine sawdust and I'm going to be blowing it outside. So that's going to help me cut down the price of this uh, conversion as well as keep my shop a lot safer and cleaner. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at what I need to do to this trash can first and then I'll take this off as well. So I'm going to start by taking my garbage can top piece here and you want to make sure that your trash can is really rigid and sturdy because if it isn't, when you turn on your back for the first time, it could just suck it in and crunch the whole thing in, then it's not going to work. So you want to buy one that's stable enough to be able to withstand the suction from your actual dust collector. Now knowing that, I can go ahead and take my coupler and I'm just going to trace on the inside here. I'm going to line it up on both sides. I just need a circle on each side so then I know where I have to cut it out. And I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I believe the center is. And then from there, I can trace it. holes drilled out, I want to take my 4 inch PVC pipe and cut two 3 inch pieces. So once you get those 3 inch pieces cut, you can go ahead and take them and slide them into your couplers. And then from here, you just take your couplers, put them in the holes that you cut in the top of your trash can lid. And what I want to do first, before I go ahead and attach these, is I want to take my silicone sealant and I want to put it around the outside of here. And that's going to give me a nice airtight seal. And then I can go ahead and install these on the inside and I'll seal those off. But I'm going to go ahead and start by doing the top first. silicone to dry, I'm going to go ahead and start taking off this entire section of the dust collector. So I got the bags all removed, I went ahead and set my trash can here. It looks pretty nice overall and what I also went ahead and did was I took this hose and I connected a 5 to 4 inch adapter. That's going to allow me to connect this hose to my 4 inch PVC pipe so I can run that outside the shop and let that crap blow outside. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the top part of the silicone. Then we should be able to start attaching the hoses and all that good stuff. 
Now that my silicone's fully cured on both of my coupler pieces, I can go ahead and flip over my trash can lid. And on the inside here, I'm gonna be adding my 90 degree elbows. But before I do this, I'm gonna be cutting off only one of the four inch ends that accepts the pipe. And this is hopefully gonna uh, decrease the weight of this as well as increase the airflow. So this isn't a necessary step, but it's something I wanna do to try to maximize the airflow the best I can. Now that my 90 degree pieces are glued in place, I can go ahead and add some sponge window seal to the inside of the trash can lid here. That's gonna help seal up the connection between the lid and the actual trash can. And now I can go ahead and take two four inch splice adapters and these will just slide into that three inch piece of PVC pipe I have on the inside. Now you can go ahead and silicone on the inside there if you really want to, but it has a really nice snug fit so I'm gonna leave mine as is. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and start hooking up my hose. I'll start by connecting my four inch hose to my impeller. And with the help of a clamp, this is gonna hold it in place. And then I'll connect the upper half just doing the same way. I have a hose clamp and it's gonna clamp around here. So I went ahead and moved my dust collector to the location that I want it. It's right by the garage door and we always have it cracked a little bit anyway for our cats to get in and out. So this is gonna work out perfect. I'm just gonna rod it right around the house so that it's not just blowing straight out and then the wind's gonna take it right back in. This way it's gonna blow out and it can just go wherever it needs to go from there. So let's go ahead and route these PVC pipes around here. I'm gonna try to cover it in the mulch as best as I can so it's not a big eyesore. So hiding my pipe underneath the ground didn't really work right now since it's still winter and the ground's frozen, but in the summer I am going to dig this so I can actually put it under the ground. That way it won't be such an eyesore. And once again I'm going to use a 4 inch splice to connect it to my actual PVC and then from here I can go ahead and connect my hose. You may want to add a screw or two and then seal that with tape on the outside just for the best possible seal you can get. So I just got my last hose hooked up from my impeller that leads to the outside PVC pipe. What I can do now is go ahead and grab some sawdust, I'll put it in a nice big pile, and we're gonna test to see if this actually works out the way that I want it to. So as you can tell, the dust collector was able to pick all that stuff up without even hiccuping. It had absolutely no problem and the suction on it appears to be really great. So I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and take off this lid. Now this is gonna be for emptying the trash can. It is just sitting on here, but all I have to do is basically take out this splice piece right here and that drops down. Now I can take out the other splice piece. And once I have these off, 
It allows me to have the cap removed easily, and I can go ahead and empty my can from here or check all the stuff inside. So taking a look on the inside of the trash can, you can see all the dust made it into the trash can and the dust that didn't went through the impeller and outside just like it's supposed to work. So I'm extremely happy with how this is working out so far. So after putting my homemade cyclone design to the test, I have to say that I'm really excited and happy with how this came out. The suction on this is unreal, and the actual function of the cyclone is working great. As you can tell from the video earlier, it's circling down the heavy stuff, and then the lighter stuff, I was able to see a few small particles coming through here. They weren't really particles, but they were smaller pieces of wood shavings or something. But I did see some stuff flowing through here, so I know that that stuff is going outside. So the cyclone is definitely doing its job. Now in the future, I'm gonna be posting a video of me running PVC throughout my shop, connecting it to different tools so I can have a full on dust collection system in my shop. So look for a video for that in the near future, as well as a video on a uh, miter saw station that I'm gonna be making. It's probably gonna span about eight or 10 feet along this wall, and that's gonna replace some of my other workbenches. But I'm gonna do that bench, and then I'm gonna do the dust collection, and then hopefully I'll be uh, pretty much all set for some, uh, some of my shop projects. But the only thing holding me back on that right now is money, otherwise I have all the plans and all that ready. So as soon as I get the money, I'm gonna be putting out those videos, so I may have a few filler videos in the time being of just regular projects that uh, I want to do but um, hopefully I can get those projects out within the next month or two because they are they are quite expensive to make so I'm trying to save the money for that but if you guys like this video I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up as well as share it that really helps me reach a much larger audience than just you guys even though I appreciate all you guys but um and if you're new to my channel or you like watching my videos but you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I've noticed a lot of people are watching my videos, but they aren't actually subscribing. So if you guys could please subscribe for me, that would really help me out a lot. So that's it for this week's project. Once again, a big thumbs up, share, and don't forget, subscribe. I'll see you guys with some more woodworking projects in the very near future.